Hi, I am Athar. Welcome back to my channel. And today we would be designing the UI for our home activity. At least some part, not uh, the whole part, but some part. So uh, in the previous videos, we have set up our, our project like adding the dependencies and we have also created a splash screen. And now it's a time that uh, we create the UI for our home activity. So, uh, I just added this uh, background property and gave it this value. So if you prefer a white background, uh, don't add this. So now let's uh, start. I'll add an image view uh, with a height, uh, with a width of match parent and a height of uh, 250 dp. And I'll say source uh, add drivel image so, and I'll also tell it the scale type so scale type is fit xy yeah now let's see how does it uh, it does uh, it looks and I'll add some constraints I want it to stay at the top only so I won't add uh, the bottom constraint yeah, now our image view work is done and now it lets add a card view. So uh, for a card view, you need to add this dependency. You can uh, find this dependency in the chat, uh, not the chat, uh, the description. So uh, uh, let's uh, give it a width of match parent and a height of uh, 250 dp and close the tag uh, how does it look right now uh, so we basically need to add constraints here and I want it to uh, get centralized so what I'll just do is I'll uh, match this constraint uh, here so uh, like uh, whatever the height of the device would be it will always uh, stay in the center of this image and uh, the remaining portion yeah yeah now the card view is done but I'll uh, just add some margin and padding so uh, I'll say the margin is 20 dp padding uh, is to be set to 10 dp and a corner radius a card corner radius so this would uh, give us a, a card view a corner radius so I'll say 20 dp so now you can see that uh, there is a we've got a margin and uh, the corners are also a curved and now uh, we'll add a, uh, another linear layout inside to make our code organized so i'll say linear layout and set it to match parent match parent and close it here so i i just want to add some uh, an id and some more properties so i'll say the id is linear layout underscore uh, i'll just say linear layout or i'll say parent a linear layout yeah now let's add a margin uh, so I'll set this to 10 dp I'll add some gravity uh, gravity would be center and just one more thing I'll add the orientation to and I'll say that um, set the orientation to vertical so how does it look it looks the same 
this is our cardio and this is the apparent uh, linear layout uh, the parent of uh, the edit text and all those and I'll just uh, change this to 30 dp now it's better yeah now let's uh, add another linear layout linear layout uh, with a uh, width and height of match parent and again match parent actually I'll change this to wrap content yeah and I'll add an ID of a, a linear layout underscore first conversion and I'll close this uh, linear layout okay and I'll add a gravity and an orientation gravity center and let's uh, set the orientation to horizontal So, uh, our linear layout is done and let's add an edit text and a spinner. So, first of all, I'll add an edit text and set it to 190 dp and the height to 100 dp and close this. Now, I'll add an EMS, the EMS value. Uh, five padding to 10 dp and a hint of uh, say from amount and let's extract this ex uh, a string resource extract string source and again I'll uh, add an ID and say et underscore first conversion and let's uh, add an input type and then it would be a number right a numerical value and but uh, there can be decimal points also so we'll, uh, let's say that uh, number decimal and uh, another property I'll say important for autofill important for autofill and say uh, tell it no and let's uh, see the errors and try to figure out so these are uh, just warnings and now we'll add a spinner also Spinner. okay let's say the width is 120 dp and uh, the height is 50 dp and I will add an ID of spinner underscore first post con version ok so now uh, this is done and finally let's just copy paste this uh, ll underscore post conversion copy and paste it here ok now we'll, uh, we need to change these ids so second and not this and this two to second 
yeah now uh, there are no errors and i'll change this uh from uh, like from uh, from amount to to amount and i'll extract the string resource now this is done so this is how it is uh, looking and if you uh, feel that there are a few problems with your with your code then uh, don't worry because uh, in this uh, the uh, description of this video i will also uh, give you the link for the source code then you can uh, get the so uh, then you can like uh, take the source code from there so this was it for today and bye for now and in the next video we would be starting to write the logic in our home activity so bye for now